One year ago, today, co-anchor Savannah Guthrie was told by her bosses that growing concern over the COVID-19 pandemic could mean big changes for the NBC morning program. They said, listen, the network wants to install a studio in your home just in case, Guthrie recalled in a recent interview. I thought it was hilarious. I just thought that was never going to happen. But it did happen. Guthrie soon found herself in the basement of her upstate New York home doing live early morning interviews with top government officials and business leaders as the national health emergency escalated. And I could hear my kids riding their scooters right above me, she said. Guthrie, whose special COVID one year later, Life After Lockdown, co-anchored with Lester Holt, airs Thursday on NBC and streams on Peacock, was not alone. Unlike scripted TV shows and movies that shut down and delayed production, network and local news programs needed to stay on the air and adapt to safety protocols. Anchors, correspondents and meteorologists across the country delivered reports from makeshift studio setups, at times while children occasionally interrupted and pets wandered by. As more of the population gets vaccinated and social distancing restrictions are relaxed, many anchors have headed back to their familiar sets, where social distance is maintained. But the innovations and efficiencies discovered by the TV news business over the past year are likely to last when the pandemic is hopefully a distant memory. I think the days of sending a full camera crew to grab what will ultimately be a 12-second soundbite for a nightly news piece are over," said NBC News President Noah Oppenheim. In many ways, it's actually opened up what we can do because it means a lot of the logistics getting cameras to places or people to studios are no longer obstacles to conversations we want to have. While more consumers confined to their homes increased their dependence on streaming video for scripted TV shows and movies, TV news viewing grew by 30% over the past year, according to Nielsen data, thanks in large part to interest in the 2020 presidential election and coverage of the pandemic. The data showed viewers are willing to accept a presentation that may be less slick than usual if they are getting the information they need. We've learned that the audience is mostly interested in the substance, and so if you can get that expert and that newsmaker but you can only get him or her on Zoom in their living room, that's fine and the audience will embrace that," Oppenheim said. Ken Jotz, executive vice president for CNN, said audiences likely empathized with what news operations have gone through. People in all walks of life were trying to figure out how to go about their businesses with great and unprecedented limitations, Jotz said. And our business was no different, and I think people understood that and are very flexible.